Hi everyone, welcome to Sage's Garage. Today we are finally back working on the Triumph. I am still working on the engine. I know that this has been the longest process ever, but that's okay. I am newly inspired from going to British Car Day and I'm super excited to get this thing on the road. I really, really, really would like to be able to drive it at least a couple times before it snows. So right now it's October 2nd when I'm filming this and I am just so ready to get it on the road. It's not even funny. Today I'm going to do a much more thorough cleaning than I did last time. I'm happy I did the initial one last time, but I'm gonna use a wire brush this time and I also have a nylon brush and I'm gonna use some engine cleaner and then I'm also gonna rinse it off, not with a hose, but I'm just gonna put some like water on a brush and brush off the engine shampoo after because you're supposed to rinse it off with water and I didn't last time. So I'm gonna make sure I do that this time because then it'll look a lot nicer. I'm not too worried about keeping the red paint. I mean, I do really, really want to, but I think it's more important that I get it clean so I kind of have to sacrifice, you know, it's not in pristine condition anyway. Then I am absolutely going to be taking the sump off today. We're going to be looking inside, making sure that all is good. I'm going to thoroughly clean it out and that will be a big step done. A lot of you have been saying that you really want me to check out the clutch and the crankshaft and the camshaft and the connecting rods and the bearings and all that stuff. And you are completely right. However, there is still a chance that I'm going to be rebuilding my original engine to put in this car. I don't know how much of a chance there is, but there's still a chance. And really, it's important to me to just get this on the road. I really am dying to to learn how to drive stick and I can't learn how to drive stick until there's an engine in my car. I'm just gonna get right into cleaning. I'm gonna use this wire brush and I'm basically just gonna rough up all the areas, try and get the serious gunk off. I did already do the initial cleaning so it's not as bad as it could be, but there's obviously still some gunk on it. So I'm gonna go ahead and start with this wire brush and then we'll see how it's going. Just to show you a starting point, here is a better look than last time on what it's like right now. So there still is some greasiness and some gunkiness, but mostly it just needs to be rinsed down and another engine shampooing done. This looks pretty rusty, but I'm really gonna try and get in there with that wire brush. And I am gonna be putting on a new rocker cover. I might still scrape this one off just so that it's not all gross sitting in my garage, but I will not be using this one. You can really see in here how much gunk is built up. I'm gonna have to find some sort of way to get into this crevice and same with all down here. And this is what this side's looking like. I think once I'm able to rinse it off, it's gonna look so much better and so much cleaner. So I'm excited to do that, but let's get started. Anybody was wondering how it's going. I got a new makeover from the engine. Who would have thought? So um, now I'm gonna go ahead and spray the whole engine with this Worth engine shampoo. I'm just gonna spray literally everything down and I'm gonna leave it for a couple minutes and then we'll come back and scrub it down. The engine shampoo has been sitting for probably 20 minutes and it's looking good. So now I have a nylon bristle brush that I'm gonna go ahead and scrub it. It's been sitting in some soapy water just to clean the brush itself. But now I'm gonna go ahead and try and get this all clean.
scrubbed it off and I'm super, super happy with how it's looking, but I have to run out so I'm not gonna be able to finish it up. I am going to go over it again with some clean water and scrub it again once I clean off the brush, but that will probably not be today. So I will show you how it's looking then, but I'm just wiping it off right now so it can dry. Hey everyone, it is the next day and I wanted to show you what the engine is looking like now after I rinse it off a bit and let it dry. It's definitely looking much better and I think I did a pretty good job of getting a lot of the gunk off. It doesn't look great just because, I mean, obviously there's not much paint left. There is some definite rust. I do have to look and see if this is actually too pitted and too rusted, but I'll have a look. The only issue is under here is really dirty still because I wasn't able to get to it. So once I take off the sump, then I will put some more engine shampoo under here and scrub that up. But yeah, like I said, I'm pretty happy with how it's going. I don't think I'm gonna be doing too much more to clean it up and get it ready for the car because honestly, I don't need this engine to be sparkly clean. And if I have to take it out again in a little bit, that's fine. Uh, I just really wanna get this car running. My plan of action for today is I am going to give this one more rinse off just with some clean water because when I rinsed it the other day, the water was super dirty, so it didn't help that much. So I'm just gonna give it kind of a fresh rinse and then I will dry it off with just a paper towel. And then I'm gonna go ahead and take the sump off. We're gonna see if there's anything suspicious in there and we're also going to double check the connecting rod bolt make sure that the third one is tightened all the way and just have a quick look inside of the engine let's get started <laughs> ratcheting wrench and I'm gonna get this sump off. I ended up grabbing a different tool. The other one I was using wasn't working and it was 14 millimeter, but these are actually 13 millimeter. out and so now we're just gonna hold on to it and I'm gonna try and pry it off with a screwdriver. We got the other side loosened up so now we're just gonna try and wiggle it off. All right here is a close-up the first one we're getting to see of this sump and there's some serious gunk in there that is so... so this actually concerns me. Oh. What do we think there's it is? Some... Huh. Debris I don't know if it's metal though it feels like metal. Interesting. Yeah, that is serious gunkage. Yeah. Oh, why is it like light colored underneath? That's, that's just oh, a pan. Interesting. But, so my fingers are hitting, you know, that's a mm -hmm. bit of a lump there. Mm. But I don't know. It could just be the oil coagulated into like a solid over Many years? Yeah, so I'm getting lumps that I'm trying to break up. Again, with that, with everything being open over the years, maybe just some stuff fell in, maybe it's some of the wood that yeah. fell in that they were blocking some of the intakes. There's a lot of little, like, so watch. There's a lot of... Yeah, wait, let's get a close-up of that bit. We could rinse it off, maybe. I guess what I'd like to do is find that out... That one's pretty serious. I'm gonna get a magnet, and we're just gonna see... Oh. We're just going to see if something like that is magnetic. Smart. We found a magnet to test out those little bits that we found and see if they're magnetic. So, it's a bolt. Okay, so, so it is, the bolts are magnetic. Oh, oh. Oh my god. Okay. Guys, this is... So is that... So okay, hold on. If we can hold it so still and then I'll show it. Oh, it's like aluminum-y. It's like a foil. It's like a foil. It's the bottom, right? That's metal on metal, though. Oh, that was your finger. 
Yeah, so I mean, I go back to that foil type piece and it's mm -hmm. definitely metallic. So this is the oil pump and I think a lot of you told me to change it or at least clean it out. So, so just, we'll see. Along that, but yeah, he just I put feel his... a big chunk of something. So right mm, here. Yeah. But that was on the Oh, instant. So that's the bit that just came off of that oil pump. And it was just kind of dangling on there. So this is a bit sharpish, but it doesn't make any sense that that would be hitting anything. There is, I don't know, does it look like there's wear on this? So here, I'm just gonna turn this a little bit. Okay, so it's moving. I don't know, so this would be a good time to check all of our bolts. Yeah, sure we definitely want to make sure that that third one's on there. We don't want another repeating issue. Could just be one of the big end bearings or the, the main bearings that are that are let go, right? Like with that little sheet metal was from. Yeah, that's very, You know, very maybe it's odd. worthwhile having somebody come and... Yeah, give us an opinion because again, we don't even really know what we're looking for. Like if there's an obvious issue, then sure, but... Oh. Just air. It's just Are you sure? No. That's metal. No, that's air. That could be a little chunky bit on there. I don't know. Okay, I've got the sump here and we're gonna take a closer look. I don't know if you can see this metal bit here is pretty shiny. It really does resemble like aluminum foil or something like that. Hey guys, I am editing this video right now and we just had a revelation that what that metal in the sump might have been is you know when you have a jug of oil and you're putting the oil in the engine there is a little metal seal that covers the oil when you take off the cap so based on what we saw that it was like it really resembles that kind of metal seal so there's a good chance that when i was doing the oil change myself i accidentally got some of that little metal bit in the engine so let's hope that that's all that it is what i'm going to do now is i am just going to dump out any excess oil into this bucket that we had all the old oil in before. And then we're gonna see if we see anything crazy. And then I'm gonna scrape it out and really, really clean this up. I saw a big, another big metal piece. Same as like the little bit of aluminum. Okay, so here's how it's looking just after a wipe down. I'm gonna go ahead and use this wire brush and just get off some of the big chunks. So that is looking much better, but clearly it is super rusted and there is a little bit of red paint on there. I'm gonna go ahead and just dry it off. I think at some point we are gonna paint this and to do that we'll need to use a wire wheel or something to really get off all this stuff. But for right now, I'm really happy with how clean it is and I think that the gasket will be able to seal. I did wanna say one thing that I mentioned was this dent here. I don't think that that's vital, but there is a odd dent there. So what we decided we're gonna do is we're actually going to move the engine with the whole hoist and we are going to place it back on the table. That way it can sit for a couple days and it's not just dangling here. 
but also that way we can put it down on its side. I can clean the bottom where the gasket was and we can also get a better look into the connecting rods and the crankshaft and all of that. So we decided instead of laying it down on the table we wanted to, but it just seemed like it would be too unsafe because of all the studs and just things sticking out. We really didn't want to damage them. So we're just gonna keep it dangling from the hoist and be super careful. That way I can scrape off all of this gasket bits because it is pretty gross. And also I can give you guys a good look of the underneath and you can tell me if you see anything really scary or what, but yeah, I'm just gonna get started cleaning up the bottom of this. Get off, but I'm gonna go ahead just with this wire brush and try and get off the rest of the little bits. It's looking so much better. I wanted to give you guys a really good look under here. I mean, I know there's not much you can see without us taking it apart, but just let me know if you see anything really crazy. It does turn and we have gotten it to start without a spark, so we know that it, it does work. I am super excited with how clean it's looking and I think our next big step is starting to put everything back together again. So we're kind of on the uphill end of getting this car put back together and getting it running, so that is really exciting. That is the end of today's video, but I'll see you guys next week. Bye! <laughs>